This week, um, I was in charge of leading the crafts, so that was specifically what I did every day. But I was able to um, move around a little bit and just really spend time with the kids in the playtime. Um, and that was the best part, was just getting to know them and see how excited they are when they come. And just, I think just the joy of little kids is just really great to be around and it's completely contagious. And so that was really, really cool just to experience them. So this week was just a lot of serving them and just talking with the kids and just getting to know them as people. But also got to go to Chicago and we went door to door and passed out flyers for the day camp. So that was really interesting just to um, not only see like the places where the kids live, but also to interact with some of the people in the area. So did a lot of a lot of everything. We did games and crafts and we did sign language stuff to help the kids learn verses and we had a Bible time and it was just, yeah, it was really wonderful, like spending time with the kids, doing the different activities with them. I think some of my favorite moments actually came like today when the kids were making these uh, like wordless bracelets. At the beginning of the week I feel like a lot of them did not know much about God or Jesus or anything but at the end like we had one who is uh, six years old and he like was able to tell us like black was our sin and red was Jesus dying on the cross and white is like what we are now and green you know us growing in him and yellow for gold he was saying it was heaven and it was just like this is wonderful you know what I'm saying <laughs> I think definitely my favorite moment for the week was earlier today. I got the opportunity to pray with two boys and lead them to Christ. And that was the first time I had ever experienced that. So that was definitely something that was really awesome to be able to do. It's been a real blessing to me to see how the kids in our group have interacted with all the children here at the camp. You know, they've been tired almost every day, besides the first day, but they're still just going out there with tons of energy, doing whatever these kids want them to do, you know, during the free time. But then in the sessions, they still have instilled a, an amount of respect in the kids so that the kids will obey them. And part of that is due to the rules that y'all have. And also, I really think that each of the leaders has tried to develop relationships with the kids so that there is that amount of respect. I would like to take away from this trip just that there are just as many kids here in the U.S. that need Jesus just as much as kids overseas. So I've been on a couple of overseas missions trips and that's always like fun to see this fuel, but there are kids here that need Jesus just as much. I think that I really want to work on being okay and comfortable enough to share God's word with anybody. And even if it's just kids, kids really look up to you. And so that was one of my biggest goals because when I was a kid, there were so many um, older figures like teenagers that I looked up to. And when they would give me a compliment, it just made my day. I have learned a lot just in my own personal time with the Lord every day about how important the gospel is, how important it is to remember what Christ did because I feel like so often we get caught up in one specific thing, whether it's God's love, God's grace, or doing different good works, where when you come back to the root of it, what Christ did on the cross, just how that is where our faith comes from, that's where our, our belief is founded on and so often we get caught up in everything else that the, the church offers or Christianity offers and when we come back just remember that simple truth just the joy and the peace and the, the hope that it gives. I just want to take a moment to say thank you guys from Berean for your willingness to come up from Knoxville to serve with us this past weekend. Be able to see us start off day camp in a great way for the very first time here in Cicero. Thank you for your service and your great attitudes this past week.
hello, 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 hello. I thought I couldn't make it though. All I know, it was God who helped me, folks, realize this pain took me to the next level.